Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm reading from Isaiah 9 and 6. That's Isaiah 9 and 6. Unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. And his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. That was Isaiah 9 and 6. It's amazing. This is the time that the world, even if those that do not believe, but the world comes together to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. When I was living in Irving, Texas, um, there was a lot of Indians from India that lived there. And I would see them light up the lights and so many different things. And um, I was at the library one time and I was like, oh, I didn't know Indians believe in Jesus. And this Indian person at the library said, oh, no, we just celebrate lights. We love the lights. They bring peace, prosperity. The more lights we put up, you know, that brings prosperity, peace, love and all these different things for the new year. I was like, oh, OK. I was stunned. I didn't want to go any further with that. <laughs> But it's amazing the world comes together to celebrate this holiday and it's the birth of Jesus Christ. Whatever reasons they pick up, it doesn't matter because some people water, some people plant, but God gives the increase. So I just want to stay focused on the reason for this holiday. We celebrate. We all have birthdays as long as we live and breathe. And this is the time. This is a set time that we choose to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ. As y'all go into the holiday, there are many of us that are by ourselves. We have family members and stuff, but um, to keep the peace, some of us prefer to be by ourselves and some of us are stuck by ourselves. But I just want to encourage those that are very single and by themselves this Christmas, another holiday comes and you're by yourself. It's frustrating, it's stressful, and hey, heck, sometimes you even cry. You don't want to do a thing but lock yourself in your room. Don't even want the world. Don't even want to open the shades. You don't want nobody to even know that you're not even home. You know, don't open the blinds. But I just want to encourage some of those that are by themselves this holiday. I want to let you know that Jesus came just for you. He came. You are not alone. Trust me. If you're alone this holiday, all you have to do is cry out or speak out or pray. However you do it, speak to the Lord and let him know I'm alone, Lord. Please comfort me. There's family members that are past, and maybe this is the first holiday you're not with that family member, and that hurts even more. You don't even want to celebrate. It's not even the same anymore, and it will never be the same, but the Lord, the Lord will comfort you. You ask him to comfort you, give you strength for that day, just for this day to get through for this holiday, but it's a beautiful holiday. Jesus came. Not only did he come, he died for us. But as he was here on earth, he ministered to the brokenhearted, to the lonely. So this holiday, I just don't want to do the boo-hoo part. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to celebrate that our Jesus Christ came just for every, every, for every one of us. If we receive him and let this be the holiday, you give gifts. I don't care what it is. It could be a pair of socks. It's something that you was able to do to give to somebody they didn't have. They didn't have that pair of socks. <laughs> well, God bless y'all. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy birthday, Jesus, and celebrate. Even if you're alone, celebrate, make something to eat. Enjoy your day. All right, God bless y'all. <laughs>